morning, good morning, good morning. Today is day four of our 30 day challenge. And um, if you're watching these every day, uh, you'll notice I missed yesterday. Well, I needed a day of rest, so I apologize for that. So I'm in another person's home, and um, this is a pretty neat little house. It's like two houses in one. So downstairs in the basement, which is where I am now, and you notice there's a kitchen behind me. They have a, a full kitchen down here. The grandma lives down here, and she's got herself like a nice little setup where it's a mini house, and then the rest of the family lives upstairs with all the children, and um, this is a pretty big house, but it's a really cool setup because grandma has her own space, and yet she's right there so she can see her kids. So here's where I am today. So day four of our 30-day challenge, this one's could be easy, could be hard. depends on your junk drawer. Yeah, so we're going to go through the drunk, dr junk, dr the drunk drawer, the junk drawer today, and we're going to clean that out. And you know what I'm talking about. It's that drawer in your house somewhere. A lot of times it's in the kitchen, but it could be, um, you know, in another room in the house. It's the place where you put things that you don't know where else to put them. So um, I'm, I'm not totally against junk drawers, but they are a catch-all. So you want to go through that and pull out anything that you're not really needing. So things to think about like the 101 bread ties that you keep saving that you don't, you're never going to use, throw those away. Um, all of the little packets that come from restaurants that get in there and sometimes they get mushed up and ooey gooey in there and then they're sticking to the pencils and whatnot. Um, those things can probably be thrown away or put someplace where you can find them when you need them a little bit easier and um, other things that are in there that maybe ha there's a better place for them, tools or pencils or, um, you know, whatnot type things. Maybe there's jewelry in there that really probably should be in your jewelry box. Um, change. A lot of people have change in their drunk. Why I keep saying that? It's early in the morning. I am not drunk. But in your drunk, in your junk drawers, this is toilet papers. I mean, not toilet paper, paper towel. Anyway, in the junk drawer, change is in there. So maybe you can set up a change jar somewhere or just put it in your wallet and take it to the bank or spend it. You know, it's money that's sitting there that's not really doing anything um, productive. So uh, my personal feeling is money should never, ever, ever go in a junk drawer unless you're stashing it there to pay somebody like me who comes into your house to clean or some, you know, some kind of a domestic service that you have you know, babysitters, those kind of things. But other than that, I never, money should go in your wallet, in the bank, or I do have a change drawer, and I think that's okay, because sometimes those can be inspiring. Don't put your money in the junk drawer. But, yep, yeah. and then what do you do once you've cleaned it out? Well, like I said, I'm not totally opposed to junk drawers, because they do serve a purpose if you have a little whatnot drawer for things that, um, you may need on occasion, but don't necessarily have a, a regular space for them. You know, the Dollar Tree has a lot, not, yeah, Dollar Tree, Dollar Stores. Um, they have a lot of little uh, baskets and containers that fit in drawers. And this might help you stay organized if you go there and find um, some containers that you can put smaller pieces in so they're not rolling around and you know going all over the place so that might be the next step in getting your junk drawer cleaned out and organized is getting some dividers so that you can see things better you don't flip or whatever it is that you're looking for so that's it for today we've got four days down with one day of rest i gave you guys yesterday's yesterday off um thanks so much for watching thanks so much for all of your comments and your your questions don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.